college is the reward for surviving high school. I read that on Pinterest, but I found that to be mostly true. It's so true. Well, if you factor out student debt and the declining value of a bachelor's degree, then it's a hell of a reward. High school is where puberty sprouts its awkward head, but college is where you fully blossom. It's the land of opportunity. Opportunity for countless interaction. Think about it. Tens of thousands of people your age concentrated in one tiny campus. You're constantly surrounded by people with different backgrounds. People with similar interests. There's opportunity to make lifelong friends. And to make lasting memories. Opportunity to date. And to fall in love. But none of this compares to the opportunity for more. More in the real world. Postgrad, the land of more independence, more money, more people, more love. And I couldn't have been more wrong. It's the exact opposite. You have less money because it's all going to FICA. Less independence because you moved back in with your parents. Less friends because they moved back to their hometowns. And less interaction in general. You know, I talked to 2.5 people today, none my age, and all of them had kids. One of them being me! And none of this helps my completely non-existent love life. Ugh, why didn't anybody warn me that postgrad post sucks? sucks? Why, why didn't I, I take advantage, advantage of college? What did you expect? You went from living in a place that had floor after floor of friends and females ready to mingle to living in a place that has less than 10 people your age within a five mile radius. All of whom went to high school with you, who still remember you as a kid who shit his pants in band. Hey, I don't go to Chipotle anymore. God, I'm so glad I didn't go to college and get my expectations effed up. Mm, I'm so glad I met Jacob in college. Dating after college sounds dreadful. Yeah, I'm really happy for you too. You know, if you're having trouble dating, maybe you should try Tinder. Maybe you should try Grindr. I, I mean Tinder. I always do that. <laughs> I want more than just hookups. Maddie, there's so much more to online dating than just casual sex these days. A ton of people find love on the apps. So I've been told. And it's not even like an alternative anymore, it's just common practice. I guess it couldn't hurt to start a profile. Don't worry, I already did. What? Whoa, she's cute. Yeah? Yeah. Well, maybe she thinks you're cute. <laughs> oh, she's a bot. But dude, trust me, there's a ton of real cute girls in her, right? Don't worry. You'll be matching with quality guys in no time. You just gotta weed out the mismatches. How many mismatches? Well... Do you, you just want to meet up? up? Strange choice of music for this restaurant. Yeah, it's a little weird. Unpopular opinion, but I'm not really a fan of EDM music. Me neither. You know, it all sounds so repetitive. I feel like every chain smoker song sounds exactly the same. Totally. <laughs> so are you hungry? Uh, not really. I actually had another dinner date right before this with a different match. I'm I'm being sarcastic. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, that was that was dumb. No, no, that was funny. It was funny. Did you have any trouble getting here? No, no, it was easy. I, I live like five minutes away. So. Ah, lucky you. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you live? I live with my parents. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being serious. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, I I thought that you were being sarcastic. Again. Right. Yeah. That would make sense. But no. I don't think living with your parents is funny. It's smart, if 
anything. I mean, you're probably saving a lot of money. Here you go. Watch out, the plates are hot. Thank you. How is everything? I don't know, you just gave it to us. It's probably gonna check in every five minutes. I hate that. <laughs> I know. You do? Yeah, you told me over attentive waiters are your biggest pet peeve. Um, no, I didn't. Uh, yeah, you messaged me that the other day? I think you might be confusing me with another girl. No, I, I think that was you. Oh, how is everything? Great. Uh, where's your restroom? How's it going? Do you like him? Should I book a wedding venue? Slow down, Wendy. The only thing we have clicked on so far is a mutual hatred for the chain smokers. You don't like the chain smokers? You thought I did? I don't know, but you should probably look over that profile I made for you. It doesn't even matter. He just confused me with another girl on the app. He did what? Oh, hell no. Get out of there. Are you sure? It could just be an honest mistake. Uh-uh. He's just one of those guys who's losing track because he's juggling multiple women with no regard for anyone but himself. If he can't even give you 100% of his attention over dinner, then he doesn't even deserve you at all. I'm on my way. Wendy, wait, I, I don't... Uh, where's your restroom? Definitely told me. So much for hitting the chain smokers. <sighs> so I'm going to go, but um, here's 50 to cover everything. No, I was planning on paying for dinner. How is everything? We're, We're fine. fine. You know, just because I live with my parents doesn't mean I can't afford this meal. No, I just think that you might be better suited with one of your other matches. So, it's nice to meet you, Cameron. Are you still here? Messaging other matches in the middle of our date. She thinks I'm a broke lowlife because I live with my parents. Screw, Screw online, online dating. dating. The guys are too entitled. The girls are too picky. Too fake. Too judgmental. I, I need to meet someone in, in real life. life. I was afraid this was gonna happen. If you want to abandon the apps and meet people out in the wild, you're gonna need my help. How are you gonna help me? Well, it's not so much a question of how, but rather, a question of where. I've concluded there are a total of four places. Places of inebriation, errands, enrichment, and work. But be warned, each comes with its own unique challenges. It is no walk in the park. Although, a park would be a good place to meet someone, but that'd go under errands. So you want to meet someone outside of college, but it still needs to resemble college. Right. Somewhere where there's a lot of people my age. In close proximity. Who know how to have fun, but loose. With the help of hard alcohol. I know just the place. Hey, hope you guys enjoyed that first episode of Dating After College. Come back next Wednesday to watch episode two. But if you can't wait a whole week, you can actually binge watch the entire series right now by becoming a silver or gold care holder through our Patreon page. Or you can purchase the whole series on Vimeo for just $10. Links to both options are listed down below. Yeah, we actually did the same thing for our last show, Yappy, and you guys seem to really enjoy having this option to support us and our content more directly since uh, projects like this, which are really big, um, we actually self-funded and uh, it's really hard to do. But regardless of how you choose to watch this series, we just want to say thank you for giving us your time and supporting original narrative content here on YouTube. Check out our new merch and consider joining our Patreon community to enable more projects like this one.
We'll see you next time. Later, episode two, next week.